Hey everyone, uh, Luke here, aka Stun Mosaic. I'm here with another comic review. This time of Tale of Sand. This was um, um, sort of an um, unfinished screenplay by Jim Henson, of all people. And you know, this is not Muppet related. This is sort of a project that he had um, wanted to make into a film. Didn't end up happening in his lifetime. But now it's um, it's come out as a graphic novel from. Arkea and also has the uh, Jim Henson Company logo on there, so it's an official um, official version here, and uh, really great art in this by uh, Ramon K. Perez. Um, I first came um, came to know of his work fairly recently. There was already a, um, a documentary online. I think you can still find it um, on the Raid Art Studio in uh, Toronto. Francis Manipal, uh, Marcus. Toe, I think it's how you pronounce his name, Toe, Marcus Toe, Two, um, and uh, Ramon Perez. They all work there, among other artists, and um, sort of went into what some of the artists are working on and what they've done in the past. And um, I'm pretty sure Tail Sand was um, one of those uh, titles mentioned. I saw some of the art and thought it looked really great, so luckily my library had it. Um, the story's fairly strange. It involves this. Um, involved with this guy, the guy you see on the, the cover here. He sort of wanders into this um, western town and the sheriff gives him a map and a bunch of supplies and a, a backpack and tells him that he has a 10 minute head start to go find whatever's at, um, at, the, at the end of this map, you know. He isn't sure if it's treasure or money, exactly what it is, but he has a 10 minute head start. I'm not sure from who, but that's what he knows. Um, the story goes off from there, very kind of strange, and I'm not totally sure I even fully understood what happened. It's kind of surreal, but it has a lot of um, interesting elements. He's chased by um, some, um, i trying to think of the right word, Arab, an Arab sheik in his army, I, I guess, for lack of a better term. You have uh, huge football players, you have western bars, you have classic like 50s and 60s cars you have all, all sorts of strange um, sort of things mashed up together very sur surrealistic like, like I mentioned um, I won't go that too much because I, I want to spoil what I think the story's about because there's, 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 there's some hints towards it but and I want to show you the art by Ramon K. Perez really great stuff all the style the colors are absolutely amazing I think uh, he got a uh, an, an Eisner for this book, if I'm not mistaken. Interesting little uh, thing throughout the book. He would have this sort of sort of the uh, traditional style, and then he would have like some wa little watercolors on there. I don't know if that's sort of rubbed off uh, on him from Francis Manipal, who sort of shares a studio with him. He knows he uses a lot of watercolors, but really, really great. I. I blazed this book so fast. It was a great read. It's like, I think it's like 160 some odd pages, but it's really interesting. And um, even if the story is a little confusing to you like it is to me, it's a really good book. You should definitely check out, especially for the art. Uh, that's always what I look for in a comic. If the art isn't good or not something that I, I personally find appealing or interesting, then I won't even read it. So the, uh, the great art on this and this uh, graphic novel led me to led me to this book. You know, if I had, um, you know, I probably wouldn't have read something that was in Jim Henson's screenplay. But it's, you know, you know, great art can open you to new um, to new new writers, new sort of stories that maybe you you hadn't really thought that you would be interested in. So definitely check that out. Um, the lack of certainty about the story, at least for me, and maybe if, if you've read it, you can um, leave a comment and, and let me know what you thought um, the story was, because I'm not really sure at all. Um, the story kind of prevents me from thinking of me like a perfect review. I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10. The art's really good. The story was the only part that got me a little... I was a little unsure of, it just seemed like a lot of random stuff, but it was also fairly interesting because it was just surreal, you know? So I'll give you a 8 out of 10. The next comic that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys is City of Glass. 
is um I heard about this because uh, David Mazza Kelly does the artwork. Apparently, it's, it's another adaptation. I don't know if it's an adaptation of a novel or a short story. What exactly it is, um, but I will know by the time I read it. So, um, that's all for me, guys. Like I said, uh, leave a comment if you've read Tale of Sandy, you have any idea what the story's about, or if you have any other Jim Henson stuff that you think is well written and has good art that I might like. Um, uh, yeah, so. Uh, until next time, happy reading.